So this is a video I was going to make last year, and I didn't, um, and I'm going to make it two hours early because, one, I don't know if I'll still be awake in two hours, and um, I don't, I, I just, I don't want something to come up, so I'm not able to make it for the second year in a row. Um, tomorrow is going to be the 11th anniversary of the tragic murder of Dimebag Daryl on stage with Damage Plan. I'm going to... Excuse me, I'm going to scoot my chair down a little bit so I can get a level with you. Um, uh, yeah, um, 11 years ago, so I'll just make a quick recap of what happened if you don't know. So, Dimebag Daryl was the lead guitarist and one of the founding lineup members. He wasn't like the one of the first members of the band, but he, he we'll say he's one of the founding members of Pantera, and he played with them from 81 to 2001. Um, He's like, you can hear his guitar work on classic songs like Cowboys from Hell and Walk and Mouth for War, Five Minutes Alone, stuff like that, um, in Texas. And, um, you know, Phil's heroin addiction stuff happened and they ended up splitting up. He started a band um, called Damage Plan with, uh, yeah, um, it was members, let's see, I, I believe there's members of Mudvayne in there, I forgot, but it's, it's a super group, him and Vinny, his brother, on drums, um, it's just, it was a super group, and they were going around touring for their album New Found Power, and they were at Al Rosa Villa Nightclub in Columbus, Ohio. Um, let's see, who else was there with them? I know for a fact Shadows Fall was there. Um, I don't remember else who was on the bill that night, but um, they were the obviously the um, headlining act because of you know the drummer and the lead guitarist were some of the um, most popular metal musicians in the world at the time. And um, a deranged fan who believed, um, there was several different theories, one that he was upset at Dimebag Daryl for helping split up Pantera, saying, blaming it on him, and that, similar to what actually happened, um, I believe it was 24 years earlier, um, a fan, um, to John Lennon, a fan believed that Dimebag was stealing lyrics from him, and he, just, he chose, um, he hopped fences. He um, got a gun from his mom as a present because she gave it to him as a present because he got dishonorably discharged from the military, which doesn't make sense to me. Um, hopped the fence, charged the stage, um, shot Dimebag Daryl to death, then began shooting in the audience, took a hostage, and was shot by a, a courageous police officer who um, shot him um, and disarmed him. But um, it was shocking. Um, Nothing, nothing before that had ever happened like that, and nothing probably will ever happen like that again. Um, it was an act of terrorism. Um, it just plain and simple, he was a, he was mentally ill, and he just ruined a lot of people's lives that day. Um, so many people witnessed that. Um, so many people loved Dimebag Daryl and his music, and he was taken for little to no reason. Um, I mean, there wasn't a good reason for it to happen, but it was just little or no reason. He just went on stage and did it because he, because he, I don't know, he was just a dumbass. But anyways, um, yeah, um, his music is just legendary. I mean, I have two of his guitars right here. I've already posted them in a video before. I have the um, Dean Dymo Flame and I just have a regular ML. But um, I've been listening to his music for several years. Um, I own every Pantera album in some form. Um, I do not own the full New Found Power album. I'm working on that. Um, I only have a few songs from that album on my phone, um, but it's great. Um, I do not own the whole Rebel Meets Rebel, which is what um, the collaboration did with David Allen Coe. Um, it was really cool. Um, if you're into country, you'll probably like it. But uh, yeah, I. Um, I own a lot of um, Guitar World editions with him on the cover. Uh, if I ever see a magazine, like musical magazine that mentions Pantera, I just buy it because you know it's a cool collection. Um, I have, yeah, you've probably seen one of my videos, but right over there I have a Pantera poster. Um, I used to have one over there, but it kind of fell, and so I can't get it. Um, yeah, um, never got the opportunity to see Pantera live, which sucks, and. Maybe I'll see Down, maybe I'll see Hell Yeah, maybe I'll see Rebel Meets, not Rebel Meets Rebel, sorry. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll see something, somebody like it, something like that. But, it's tomorrow, 
um, which is in central time about two hours and um, he's inspired so many people with his music he's inspired so many people to just get out there and do what they want because um, he just sat in his room and he played guitar and it just and he just did it he just got inspired by albums like Kiss, Alive, um, the first Van Halen album, I mean just a lot of hard rock heavy metal bands, I mean like the first Def Leppard album I heard inspired him, the Iron Maiden, um, the first few Iron Maiden albums inspired him, uh, I just, I'm getting this all from a guitar, I'm getting that from a Guitar World article like that he wrote, um, I mean Obviously, when Phil came along and introduced him to more heavier stuff, I mean, they were listening to somewhat more heavier stuff before that, but like, you know, Rain and Blood, the Slayer album, um, first Metallica album, apparently. Yeah, because they used to, they used to play, like, songs like Seek and Destroy very early on, back when they were, like, a more bar band, um, and played clubs and stuff like that, um, they were, they kind of started as, like, a cover band, they played, like, Priest and stuff like that, but, um, no matter what you say, no matter what people say, listen to their earlier stuff that wasn't that they had on their own label, um, like Metal Magic and stuff, because it's really good stuff. Like especially the Power Metal album, or which was the first album they had with Phil before they got signed to a major label. Um, it's some good stuff. Um, songs like Over and Out and um, Proud to Be Loud are just great songs. Um, let's see. There's a PST88 is a song that I must recommend because it's got Dimebag on vocals. And then there's stuff like, there's other songs that have him on vocals. I mean, Caged, um, Caged in a Rage, I believe it is, has him on vocals. That was for a um, movie. Um, but yeah, they were highly influenced by Priest on that album. You can hear Phil sounds like Rob Halford. But um, in fact, around that time, they did do a song called Light Comes Out of Black with Rob Halford on vocals. And uh, you should check that out too. But anyways, he inspired so many people. Um, one of the greatest musicians of all time. Uh, just the way he played things, the way he added attitude and such. Like it wasn't even just he wasn't even that complex of a player. I and mean, there were so many more complex like Joe Satriani and Malmsteen and stuff like that. Ingve and um, were so more complex. Like you know with their. Like, this is the solos they played. I mean, he don't get me wrong. He was one of the best guitarists of his time. Um, so, like it, it'll be ever be hard to top a solo like Cemetery Gates, and um, but just the way it just made his solos and riffs are so much, so far ahead of um, songs that Satriani and um, like songs like Satch Boogie. Like he had that in his set like in the early days, but. His songs were so far ahead of those because of the attitude and the heart and soul he put inside them. Um, obviously, you can hear um, my, my my songs that really stand out to me of Dimes playing as 25 years off the Far Beyond Driven album. Um, let's see, By Demons Be Driven off the Vulgar Display of Power album. Uh, let's see, Probably Shattered um, off Cowboys from Hell. Um, Great Southern Trend Kill off, off, you know, the Great Southern Trend Kill and stuff like that. I mean, they kind of add the more Southern tone into it that he got the influence from, like, Ted Nugent and stuff like that. Um, but I'm so happy I finally got to make this video. And by the time people see it, it'll most likely be the anniversary anyways. But um, I know it's, I sound lazy because of this, but it's like I didn't want to not make it on accident, so... Cause you never know what the next day will bring so um he may be gone but his music's gonna live on in our hearts and just check out pantera if you've never listened to him damage plan all his projects um rest in peace time you'll be missed